Burberry glasses, huh, Danny boy? Who do you think Only you are? Only the best for me. Yeah. Who do I think I am? Yeah, who do you think you are? James Bond or some shit like that? <laughs> oh, no. This early in the podcast, you're going to come in with quips, Fez? Fez the Virgin <laughs> is on the pod, boys and girls. I'd like, That's yeah, there right. was, was a boxer one time. You try to gang up on me with you right there. That was crazy, dude. He doesn't want to take shit from us anymore. Are you trying to flank me, Fez? Because I'm already doing battle directly with Leo. I think you tried yeah. to flank me. I, I think he know. tried to attack from he the side. Flanking, and, you know, I don't know if you have a flanking license right now. Not you know yet, I mean? right? Not yet. I guess. You got the Danny Mullen haircut? <laughs> the Danny Mullen haircut. Oh, no. You know, I, I admire him so much. Might as well get it on. Might as well you know got the haircut. Got. All right, you made up for that deeply hurtful comment about me thinking I'm James Bond. Because that's the kind of thing that you don't come back from. No, that's true. If somebody says that, it's like, wow, something to think about. Something to you know? think about yeah. as I put the finishing knots on the noose that's hanging from my garage rafters. It's like, God, dude, I did think I was James Bond. I can hear you breathing into the mic, Fez. I'm sorry. You got to bring that, that a lot, dude. It's hilarious. <laughs> On uh, Leo and Friends, we've we've been like really on that, and it's hilarious. We need a we need a Fez filter. The, the Fez mic needs to be coated like in that. about three inches of windscreen, at least. Yeah, it needs to be like this times ten. Yeah, just. Oh he, yeah, I want him to be talking into a cantaloupe-sized puffball. Yeah, because you know, I mean, Do we you can't really have those. You really want to hear me that much, Danny Mullins? That way. Oh my God! This is the second flank move. It didn't make a lot of sense because I said I wanted to hear less of him, mm. but he was implying that I wanted to hear more, more. which it's okay. He, he, he can work on his listening as the pod goes on. Sure. But Leo, mm. right now, continue whatever you wanted to say about I Burberry. To say Burberry. All right. So there was a boxer. I always think whenever I see Burberry, I always think about this boxer, Adrian Broner. He lost his first fight, and it was like he was like a big like maybe they thought he was going to be like a next the next Mayweather. He didn't have the uh, you know the the, deter, the the work ethic, but he's still a really good boxer, possible Hall of Famer. Anyway, he lost his first fight, and he's wearing Burberry sunglasses, a Burberry scarf, and a Burberry jacket. Right? Uh huh. And when he's O and O, walking yeah. out to the fight, he's decked out in design. Now this was after he was doing an interview after the fight in all Burberry. So he's O and one. He's now O and well, it was he was like thirty and O, and now he's thirty and. Oh, so 1. he didn't lose his first fight. No, it wasn't his first fight. He had lost his the first fight of his career, and you know he had lost. Oh, okay, yeah, I get you. So he he goes. It's he's like thirty and one. And they're like, man, how you, you know, how's it going and everything? And he goes, you know, he's like, yeah, man, I, I might have lost and shit, but it's Burberry everything. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, that was the most amazing line. You know what I mean? That only an African American boxer could have gotten away with too, because if it was like, you know, Canelo Alvarez, you know, I don't know, Mexican guy, like he's Buddha Betty everything, you know. Yeah, it if you work, if you're a white guy and you're up there and you're a soccer player, for instance, exactly. you're like, yeah, uh, we played Livingston today. Their strikers were just a little too quick. Mm -hmm. The goalkeeper made some amazing saves, but you know, at the end of the game, it's just it's Burberry everything. <laughs> You know, it's just Burberry everything. It's Burberry everything. Everybody so. would just be like, what a fucking douchebag <laughs> this guy is. Yeah, what a fucking dude. Now, Adrian Broner says it. Nobody even bats an eye, dude. Everybody's just like, all right, man. Well, it's still Burberry everything, so it's all good. Dude. So, uh, Phil Mickelson, uh, you had a disappointing <laughs> end of the tournament this weekend. Do you have anything to say about your performance? Yeah, I know there were just some, uh, the wind was a little bit stronger on hole 17 than I anticipated, and uh, some of the sand traps were very creatively laid out, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, Times like this, you just got to look yourself in the mirror and say, it's Burberry everything. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we got to remember this and do it sometime like in, a, in some kind of interview. But uh, either way, uh, we also, uh, talking sports, I want to mention a guy that's back in the channel right now. Who's back? No, he's back in oh, the channel. You yeah, know who I'm talking about. That Mook Dog. That's right. Mook that Mook Dog. dog baby. Hey, follow Javon Kinlaw. He is officially back in the Leo and Danny show, Danny Mullen regime. Yeah. He is, he might as well be a member of the regime at this point. Javon Kinlaw of LDN fame, yes. the guy who went head to head with a journalist who was talking shit and told that journalist that he had small nuts, mm -hmm. a small dick, this and then him. and then called that white journalist the N-word. That's right. He Follows Leo Dottavio on Instagram yeah. and comments on photos of the regime. That's right. We 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 uh, posted a little uh, shirtless pic that you might have seen with Nico. Nico being the star, of course. 
Uh, he was making a very funny face and all that. Anyway, we, we tagged Mook Dog in it and we called ourselves Young Steppas. <laughs> See, one of, his, uh, one of his posts he had put, he's like, we some Young Steppas. And we just loved it. So we posted it not really knowing what Steppas means. So, Danny Mullen, you had a disappointing finish to the Ultimate Frisbee Tournament this weekend. Yeah, you know, just, again, the wind was working against me. Mm -hmm. The Frisbee just kind of slipped out of my hand on that last throw. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I'm a young stepper at the end of the day. I'm a young stepper. I'm a young stepper. Burberry and... everything. <laughs> Burberry everything. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but, uh, young stepper. It, a stepper is a man who doesn't... He doesn't uh, cower down when someone's coming at him. We it's had an to look up. Man. Can we pull up the definition of Steppa right now? Yeah. Because Leo, we we saw that Javon Kinlaw, the 49ers defensive tackle, huge fan of the channel. Yes. We saw that he's starting defensive tackle, having a big career year, surely going to reap a massive contract based on his performance. We saw that he captured to one of his photos three young steppas and it was him and three other 49er players right no, no, uh, Austin can you pull it up on YouTube the definition of yeah, steppa yeah there's a guy there's a there's a man that describes it very well this is because I want really more than anything I know that a lot of our audience listening today are in fact steppas yeah there's some steppas out there I don't think Fez is a steppa though N Fez would be I'm the like opposite a of a steppa he's so probably not D, D slugger gives yeah. him gives his meaning of steppa Right Down there. lower, lower, that bam. One. This is this is the guy right here. He, this is the man who knows what's up. When you're looking for the definition of Steppa, this is the man you go to. All right, Slugger, man, I got a question for you, man. People outside of Florida, man, we want to know, what is D Slugger's definition of, of a Steppa? Okay. Shit, okay. Listen, fast. Steppa, in my eyes, Shit, like, okay, like, say some niggas, Turn it some, up niggas, a bit, some niggas will take, some niggas say, okay, say a nigga disrespect you or whatever like that. Some niggas can walk away from this shit or whatever. Some Fast. niggas just let it go, you feel me? Fast walks away. But some people going to actually, that's when I'll come in. Some people going to step behind it by, by their respect. Shit. Like, dude, <laughs> it's some not necessarily, some niggas step. say, oh, you sure, nigga, you stepping? Not really. You feel me? You don't got to shoot just to be a stepper. You feel me? You stepping. I'm coming, it's like how you coming behind what you doing, you feel me? Like if a nigga right. disrespect me, bitch, a nigga just ain't gonna disrespect me, if I ain't just gonna let it slide, I'm, a, I'm gonna you come step. step behind my respect, you feel me? Like, that's right. nigga, like, like a nigga say, I die about my respect, bitch, I'm gonna step behind my shit. Uh, so that's basically, right. really, right. it's just somebody that, that stand on their 10 toes yeah, on, on, on whatever principles they believe yeah. in. To me, bitch. Okay. 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 I'm gonna shoot. I, 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 I shoot a nigga, so I'm gonna step it. Yeah, but, nah. but I like that. I, 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 I like that explanation, though. Yes, that makes more sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Press pause. Because a lot of people do make it. Fez, would you shoot an enter <laughs> if he stepped to you? Hell yeah, I would. Okay, dude. That is your. Don't be pretending to be a stepper. That is might as well. That is one of the big, the 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 worst things you can do is to pretend to be a stepper. Nothing's worse, dude. Yeah, it's well, the worst. Time and place to be a poser when right. it comes to being a stepper, dude. Yeah. You mean like the time I was in the bus, somebody tried to tell me to shut the fuck up because I was listening to my music and they told him to shut the fuck back and then I step up to him and like, what are you going to do, bitch? Wait, you stepped up on a bus? It yeah. It sounds like you might be a stepper. You might be a stepper. When was this? Yeah. I was a while back and was in a bus and I'm like, somebody just told me to shut the fuck up because they didn't like my music. I was like, <laughs> no. What kind of music were you listening to? K-pop. That is Steppa music. Yeah, man. Little Asian boys with plastic surgery singing an <laughs> auto tune. You That's know Steppa it. shit. That's some Steppa shit. So what'd you tell him? What'd you tell him? Okay, so this is what happened once, right? I was listening to BTS in my phone. I was I was cranking it up, not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was a little out of line, but I see motherfuckers doing that in the bus all the time. So I was like, I might as well just do it for myself, you know? Because I, I cannot use earphones because I hurt my ears. Yeah. Even right now with these... I, yeah. ears, I have sensitive you? ears too. I relate. That's a stepa quality. Yeah, Having no. sensitive ears is a stepa trait. It is. Yeah. So and if somebody, if somebody messes with those ears, you got to step. You it's from step. all the yeah. gunfire. <laughs> exactly. When you're stepa, you might be privy to some gunfire around you. Mm -hmm. I think so. And stepas, it doesn't matter if they're in a car, in a studio apartment. If they got to pop their gat, they got to pop their gat. That's right. And it's not Steppa-ish to wear earplugs. No. You think you're going to go in there with the little orange foam plugs and then the headphones like this? No, yeah. you're going to go clack, clack, clack. Right. And you're going to deal with the tinnitus. And it's going to be a little ringing in your ear. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know what you say when you hear that? You step to the ringing in your ear. You go, you almost yeah. step to that ringing in my ear, <laughs> head on, face it full force. A steppa sometimes got to slug themselves in the earlobe. Exactly. Stop, stop ringing. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Yeah. No, you not only step into other people, you step to things that are going on with your body. You got plantar fasciitis. Fucking step on that shit. Yeah. You're slightly overweight. You got to step to your belly. You got to step to your belly, dude. All right. So Fez might be a step after all. We're going to see. He might be stepping to his unemployment because he told us he has a job. Yeah. In a park somewhere. Tell us what yeah. you do in this park. Well, no, I'm starting on Monday. I still don't know what exactly they want me to do. Most of you guys. That's strange. Please. You got a job and you don't know what they want you to do? No, well, no. Well, I know what I'm supposed to do. It's surely a very high-paying, prestigious <laughs> position, Leo. <laughs> Not yet. I don't know. Most of it's just minimum wage for now. That's Maybe okay. increase a little bit of time if I stay long enough with the company. I support sure. any job that you want to take. But what what are they going to What are you probably going to be doing? Most likely just cleaning up garbage. It just creek out leaves, uh, landscaping, and then um, what else they told me? I guess bathrooms that they want me to do. Uh, You're going to clean bathrooms worst. at a public park in Los Angeles. That, that's going to be gross, yes. <laughs> oh, you, gonna... sir, you are going to incur some real trauma on the job site. Let me tell you. Because I, yeah. Venice Beach bathrooms, Ooh. Echo Park bathrooms, and I'm not just talking about needles. Yeah. I'm talking about the shit the junkies take after they shoot up oh, junk yeah. with the needles. Because that evacuates your bowels, dude. Yeah, oh, it does. And it, and what comes out? They won't come back. It's, well, obviously it's not going to come back. But it's it's bloody. It's bloody. <laughs> it's yeah. not It's not a solid poop. So what do you? what is going to be your kind of technique when, you, when, like, for example, you walk into that bathroom and uh, a crackhead has, instead of use the, use the toilet, they just used... The floor. Let's do a job interview right now. Yeah, exactly. So, sure. Fez is your name. I'm looking over your resume right now. It's underwhelming, to be straight with you. Hmm. But let's run through some hypotheticals on the job. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, a lot of things that might happen. This job is, uh, you know, you have to wear many hats. Mm -hmm. Leaf raking uh, hat. Uh, the cleaning up garbage hat. A bathroom janitorial hat. Mm -hmm. Gloves. Necessary for yeah, that one. So, you see. <laughs> so, you're in downtown Los Angeles. You're ordered to clean public restroom number 238. I think it's right off Alameda Avenue. Ooh, that's a, <laughs> oh, that's a specific... That's been a trouble bathroom oh, for us. Yeah. It's By MacArthur a, Park. Yeah, that is a bathroom that's used for many things. Not, off, not often for number one and two, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Strangely, bowel movements mm. are the fourth most common thing to occur in that bathroom. Correct. Behind, well, drug injection and fornication. Correct. They use it as a fuck pad. It's uh, it's usually used by... Uh, it's an official uh, term, by the way. Yeah, yeah fuck pad. Um, it's it's used mostly by homosexual bums, and uh, um, they uh, they seem to like uh, kind of giving, I don't know, the, the, the mirrors, you know, money shots. That's kind of their thing. They like to finish on the mirror. So here's a hypothetical we're going to run through that will yeah. really demonstrate your capacity to be an employee for us. Yeah. You open the door... To this troublesome bathroom right outside of MacArthur Park, and mm -hmm. you encounter two male vagrants engaged in homosexual acts used as a form of payment for fentanyl. Correct. Mm. One is sucking the other one's penis, <laughs> or uh, to use the scientific term, he's giving him skull. Yeah. Yeah. I, my coworker gave a scientific term first, so I want to make yeah, sure to skull because you you know the backside of the head usually where you put a grip. It's yeah, skull like. Right. It's a skull. Yeah. yeah. Other scientific terms include a noggin, mm -hmm. tonsil, mm -hmm. head. chicken head, dome, mm -hmm. dome, dome me up, baby, tooth, mm -hmm. tongue, yeah, throat, yeah. face, yeah, face. Just a regular old blowjob. Are you guys fucking with me with that one? <laughs> not sorry. fucking with you at all. No, no. And no. we're the ones asking the questions here, sir. So uh, sorry, yeah, yeah. Sorry. please, yeah. please let us give you the full scenario. So you walk in, you got one bum standing, you know, over another one. Guy's on his knees, one guy standing up. And the guy standing up, the one receiving the noggin, mm. he has, to use the scientific term, a huge fucking cock. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, he's got a, a hammer, Pringles can, okay. between his pants. He's got a baby arm, he's got a python. Yeah. Also, the bathroom's a mess, and there's feces all over the floor yeah, and walls. Yeah. How do you handle this situation 
Grab a host yes. and host a freaking homeless. That is my fucking right. Well, there's a lot of okay. advocates around MacArthur yeah. Park, and you're going to be fired immediately. There's a woman named Karen. She comes uh. around, and <laughs> she would she would sue you for doing yeah. that. And she would, uh, you know, she would. She's already put two of our janitors in jail, in fact, for assault. Oh, so. damn. Austin, oh. this is Austin, our intern here at the uh, janitorial services plus mm -hmm. can you please pull up the famous clip of a man hosing down a bum in san francisco mm. our assistant austin's uh the spelling is better than you do here we oh, go wow so this is an incident that we would not like to repeat. This is Correct. bad PR. This bankrupt the janitorial service up in San Francisco. Yeah. You need to let it play if you don't mind. I think he's a hero. This is a 75-year-old man, point blank, hosing down a black woman's That's face. Insane. Yeah, see, this is... The, have you heard the term, customer's always right? Yes. In a park... Are the bums customers, Danny? No, Moore? they're not. Unfortunately, they are. They are customers. Because we live in the deep blue city of Los Angeles. Right. Uh, they're it customers. Is, it is a public park that you're going to be working in. So the customer is always right, Fez. To use a scientific uh, term, these piece of shit junkies, mm -hmm. they're the ones you got to kowtow before. Whatever they want, they get. So sure. how do you deal with this oral situation? Hmm. Well, since I couldn't get them out I don't, with my own probability, I want to call the authorities, maybe? You're going to call the cops on the bums. Have, have you ever tried to do that before in Los Angeles? That's completely, oh, yeah. it's, it's yeah. ineffective. Yeah. Uh, we, it's ineffective. <laughs> you might as well, I don't know, fart into the wind. It's a fart into the wind, calling the cops. It is a fart into the pointless. wind. pointless. It is like buying a lottery ticket in order to fix your financial problems. What's up, Saltine? What's up, Saltine, what's up? So that's not going to work. What we want you to do is get on your knees and suck the cock yourself. Uh, that is... Maybe Danny Mullins' job, perfect. No, no, no. <laughs> you, I don't know who this Danny Mullins... It sounds like you're trying to outflag somebody named Danny Mullins. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> now, listen, when we ask you to suck the cock, you might think, oh, you want me to do this well. No. We want you to give the worst blowjob in the world. So we don't need you to have much experience. Blowing cock. Because what we need you to do is use a lot of teeth. Even though a lot of people theorize that you do have a lot of experience sucking cock, we need you to forget all that. There are rumors. We called your references and all they was this guy named Dino, and, and he said he just said that you were gay. <laughs> so uh, that's part of the reason why we, we actually want you for this position if you happen to be gay. But anyway, listen, we want you to give the worst blowjob, a blowjob that so terrorizes these bums that they never come back to the park. Mm-hmm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. We need you to use a lot of teeth. A lot of teeth. We need you to repeat the same rhythm and head motion over and over without any sort of variation. Correct. And you will uh, you will be verbalizing things that you know most men would find de arousing. But you're gonna have to be creative because these bums are a little sick. Oh, dead babies. Uh, this worked in the past. Sick. Oh, hemorrhoid cream. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, sandpaper against your nutsack. I like uh. that, yeah. Now, and you always try to insert a finger up one of these bums' asses. Because oh, Hamas. Good. It might, at worst that's case scenario. Gaza. Yes. <laughs> if you say Hamas during the blowjob, could be a good thing. <laughs> Now, listen, when you and, and you try to insert uh, your finger inside uh, the anus of these bombs, because either way, it's going to be a good thing. Either they're going to be deterred or they're going to ejaculate faster. So your either job, way, it gets them out of the bathroom. Correct. It gets them out of the bathroom for. And I know we have to say uh, pursuant to city policy that the bums are customers. But really, we want them out of there to make room for the higher level customers, a.k.a. taxpayers, soccer moms. Little League baseball games. Uh, Businessmen who are stopping by the park for a coffee uh, on their lunch yeah. hour. We love boot camps. You know what I mean? African-American man, buff, running a boot camp with a bunch of white women. Those <laughs> are the like kind it. of things we want to see in this park. Especially since our offices are above the park and we have telescopes at the window. Correct. Um, cleavage, mm -hmm. what we want to bring to the park. You know, we don't want to scare away them titties mm. from coming to the park. Nope. Can you do that, Fez? Can you suck a bum dick, to use a scientific nope. term? Can you suck a bum dick 
terribly. Yeah, you can. Because you don't have to even have much experience to do that. I'm going to quit. <laughs> no, no, no. It, we're we're going to be offering you above minimum wage. Well, just, we're actually not going to be offering him that. We're going to be offering him minimum wage on the nose. Well, I was going to say that it was going to be cash under the table. And technically, if we don't involve the tax man, could be considered above minimum wage, if you know what I mean, mm-hmm. Fess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, pay you cash for this. Leo, I, I think we ask him sincerely as ourselves again. Mm. Uh, how did you find this job? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, you know, this job, by the way, is for like, um, well, this is for the lowest level. Or let me say, this is for the migrants straight out of central casting. This is yeah. for a guy who just rode a donkey across the border from <laughs> Venezuela. Correct. And one of his ears was cut off in transit by a cartel member. Right. Like that's who's supposed to have this job. Yeah. That's, he strikes me as a little, <laughs> slightly overqualified for just slightly overqualified for this job. I think so. I think it's just, it was probably his accent and overall look. <laughs> but like, for this job, uh, I'm imagining a guy who's three foot five yeah. with a, a, a dirty, uh, minor league baseball cap yeah. that he found on the subway. Grid. Yeah, and long sleeves and maybe a little backpack. And he's got some worn boots because he's getting a lot of steps in. He's going to get a ton of steps in. So like, I don't know if you... The ideal person for this job doesn't know a single word of English. Correct. And sleeps outside. That's yeah, perfect. that's who's supposed to have this. You're taking this job from people in need, I feel. Yeah, and it's somebody that was going to live where they work because they were probably going to be living right in that park. Mm, never thought of that, but... Either way, this is good, though. Screw them. This is good. You're still going to have your disability checks coming in? I I have no idea. We'll see what happens. Yeah, just don't tell anybody and see what happens. (laughs) Fez, honestly, how long do you think you're going to keep this job? I have no idea. We'll see. How did you get the job to begin with? Uh, A job fair. A job fair? Job fair. fair. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, hey, you're in the right direction. That's good. It is. It's a very... Yeah, exactly. Uh, Austin, that's a good point. What was the job fair like? I mean, did you have... Did you come with... Did you have resumes printed out? Yeah, I got my resumes printed out. Was there funnel cake at this job fair? Did you eat it all? No, there was no job fair. Were there donuts? It's not that kind of fair. (laughs) Were there donuts? No, there's no donuts. There was no coffee and donuts? That's a lie. You definitely got a Coke out of the vending machine. There was a Coke out of the vending machine. You did, didn't you? I knew there was food involved. Mother... Fez, did you dress to impress? I'm not, not really. saying Burberry Air thing. Yeah. Did you dress to impress? I guess dress as normal as I could. Well, that was a terrible idea. You dressed as you're dressed right now? No, I don't know. This is just something I picked up right now, but I was dressed a little better. I got my good jeans, got great my new shoes. All right. That's why sure. he's working a fucking fresh off the boat job in the park. He didn't even wear a collared shirt. Yeah, so they well, saw I you. Why wear a shirt to a regular bonus? Because it's a job fair, and you got to take a little pride in your appearance. Let me ask you a question. Did they ask you if you speak Spanish? Yes. Of course they did. They were, I don't want to say this, but they, they were being kind of racist. Yeah. They They're saw you, you. Yeah, they saw you, and they said, gardener. <laughs> this gardener fucking guy sure. looks like a gardener, dude. Do you have a college degree, Fez? No. What's your highest level of education? 11th grade. What do you mean? He didn't, didn't, he didn't graduate I, I high didn't school. I didn't graduate high school. Yeah. Leo just pushed his mic away. Leo, say what's on your mind real quick. I, I got to take a wee-wee. Tell him. Fez. You're scum. Okay. <laughs> Why the freak do you not have your high school degree? Because um, I... Remember I told you that I used to have problems in school? Yes, you did. Well, that would lead to that problem. You didn't take the test, though? The little GE or the whatever? G- did you no, take it? The GED test? Yeah. I mean, I tried. I went to Action Valley and, and applied for it a couple of times, but I failed every time. You so failed? The, so you, you don't... You, you, did, you cannot... Okay, the test to pass the GED is... Mm-hmm. It's like... I ever. mean, there are guys with multiple bodies. There's some some real steppers in the hood who yeah. have passed this test. So what is what is the math or the, or the English that you can't I pass? I think it's the math problems. Not Dude, you lie. can't pass the math on the GED exam, Danny. I mean, it's not. I don't. Let's bring up sample GED math questions. I love Austin. it. Let's do some math. <laughs> You've you didn't pass your. Do we got to get you to pass your GED, Dan? There's too much. That's a video. A, yeah, that's a video. It's a Fez video. goes to night school. Yeah, 
Fez, go we, sample GED math questions. Fez, you are working. I, I can't even tell you. <laughs> like, I one time I went to an Oakland A's game, and there was a 60-year-old woman from Cambodia who I do not think broke the four-foot barrier. She was going around with a dustpan and the broom. She has your job. And I'm not <laughs> totally bragging because you could easily point to a lot of YouTubers who have the same job I have, and they're probably much worse people than that Cambodian woman was. True. But we both need to level up, okay? We both need to level up, so yes. let's do some math. Here yeah. we go. A painter rented a wallpaper steamer at 9 a.m. and returned it at 4 p.m. He paid a total of $28.84. What was the cost of the rental per hour? All right, so what is your first step here? What are we doing? Break it down. Tell us what you're thinking. Yeah, tell us what you're thinking. What is your first step? This is an annoying problem, I am going to say right now. But it's very easy. It also. is sort of easy. It's I extremely guess. easy. I, my instinct is to reach for my phone it's a and use a little bit of technology. Well, of course, a calculator would be necessary. I'm sure mm -hmm. you can you can use a calculator. It, it, look, it even has calculator reference over there on the right. Okay, so is it like a fraction problem? Sure, you can call that or a division problem. Sure, so what are you dividing? I don't, I don't see any fractions, but okay. Yeah, if you want to use fractions to get to the root of this, go ahead, Fez. You can, it sort of is a frag, it's a division problem. Now, what do you, what's your first step, though? I mean, uh, the division, right? Eh? <sighs> yes, it's division. It's okay, Fez. I, we're not trying to belittle you or anything. I, th I know it's a language barrier thing and, and all that, but if you can't get this problem right, you're retarded. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that is not what I'm trying to say. Uh, no. Uh, I know that Saltine can't get this problem right either, though. So just to, to make it known. Um, what do you, what's the first step? Can I help you out, Fez? Yeah, it sure. looks like you're lost. All right. So you have to figure out per hour, right? Mm -hmm. So how many hours did he have the goddamn wallpaper steamer? How many? This fucking wallpaper steamer, Fez. Yeah. This <laughs> piece of shit. How long did this probably wife beating, hard drinking painter have the <laughs> shit dog wallpaper steamer in his possession? <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I don't, Danny's throwing you off a little bit because it doesn't have anything to do with this, with this guy's domestic abuse or anything like well, that. Well, painters but. are the lowest. <laughs> if you get this job on Monday, uh, assuming you don't show up and they're like, ah, just kidding, we weren't actually hiring you, you're a joke. Assuming you get that job, you're going to be higher than the average painter in America because they inhale fumes all day and they just get stoned and then go up and down with the brush. It requires no brain work. It's, uh, yeah, it is, it is also very profitable. It's good business if you're the guy with the contractor's license and, you know, which takes a little work and all that. But you're hiring guys like you, Fez. Anyway, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. How many hours, How many hours is, that? is that? Do the math. How many hours is 9 a.m. to 4 p.m.? You can use your fingers. <laughs> How many hours do the dick face it. painter have that? fucking modern abomination of a wallpaper steamer. Well, let me help you look. 9 a.m., so then you got... Mm -hmm. No, let's let him figure this out. All right. This is the easiest part, bar none, and I really want to see how he works it out. How many hours is 9 a.m. to 4 p.m.? I think it's C, the answer. Wait, you, you can't... You didn't get... How the fuck did you get to C already? Wait, 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 uh, repeat that, repeat that, repeat that. C answer, but... What, what? Um, did I you mean, say C? It's because of the... Did you say C? Yeah. C is C uh that's yes in Spanish, right? That's not no, a, a number. C. So I think I'm gonna do the problem first. Oh wow, he's skipping ahead. He's skipping ahead. How'd you how did you come up with that? Show C, how did you yeah, show us your work? He's, how did you come up with this? He's correct. He's correct. How did you come up with that? He came up with four dollars and twelve cents an hour, which is whoever's renting that wallpaper steamer must be inhaling the toxic steam because that is a very reasonable hourly rate. Yeah, it is. Uh, you are correct, though. I did the math, but how did you know that that was the math? Yeah, see, Austin, good job. It's, it is the the answer to the problem is simply uh, it's it's the number of hours, right? And then you divide that or you you do you. I think I subtracted it. You subtracted it. That doesn't make any That's sense. Bullshit, did you cheat? Fez. Fez, that's fucking bullshit. You know what I think he did, Leo? I think he knows that statistically C is the most likely answer on true. any multiple choice <laughs> that's test. That's very true. No. And I think he just fired off a C out of desperation. It's, it's just the it's 28.84 divided by 7, the amount of hours, and that would give you the answer. Next question. But how did you know this? Um, you guessed. He cheated. He cheated. Next question. Okay. He, Whatever. He, he didn't cheat. He guessed. Next. 
This Here is from GED.com. Oh, by this the way. one's got negative values. So this oh, one's, it's over. This one's boring. Next question. I want one with some story with some characters in it. If you have a calculator, that's such an easy problem. Too. Here we yes, oh, Annie. Here we go. Dude, Annie is planning a business meeting for her company. I can tell you right now, Fez has no, no chance of getting this one right. <laughs> she has a budget of one thousand three hundred and twenty-five dollars for renting a meeting room at a local hotel and providing lunch. She expects 26 people to attend the meeting. The cost of renting the meeting room is $270. Which inequality shows... Oh, inequality. It's getting social. Mm. Shows how to find <laughs> the amount X and it can spend on lunch for each person. Oh, this is easy. It's easy. This it is just, a cakewalk. Yeah. But first of all, Fez, I want to say that Annie is definitely planning an anger management seminar for men who have hit wives and or children. <laughs> That's what's going on. I've been to one of these anger management seminars at a cheap yeah. hotel that rented for about yeah. $270. Yeah. So this is much more than just the, you know, the cost of lunch for each one of these people. Yeah. There's a cost on her soul yeah. for dealing with this variety of scum. Right. And these are the kind of things you have to remember on your GED exam. You got to. Okay. okay. Because while the math is going to be the same, you need to intellectually keep Annie at arm's reach. Correct. Does that make sense to you, Fez? She's a wicked woman. Does it make sense, Fez? Answer us. Yes. Okay. okay. Taking into account her needs is important. She's a cunt, answer. Fez. Right. She's a cunt. This this bitch is ruining lives well, on she, the daily. She, she is, because she's facilitating the behaviors of abusers yes. mm -hmm. and letting them go forth into life to continue their abuse. Mm-hmm. Think That's of a happy-faced child, and now picture that smile turning upside down and do a, a sobbing frown as his father, drunk off half a bottle of Jack Daniels, working on his fly so that he could rape the boy's mouth, approaches oh, from the kitchen. Oh, my God. <laughs> and now solve this problem. Now take that, into a f take that into account when you're solving this problem. Okay. So let me try this again. She has a budget of 1000 Three hundred twenty-five dollars for a damn meeting. Twenty-six people. I don't want anything to do with this meeting. problem. Which inequality shows how to do the It's easy. Uh, well, I don't know how to do the problem with my hands. This is a really do it with your hands. It's Fed. not a mathematical problem. It just it, it's yeah, it's a it, thought problem. It's asking you which one of these would get you the correct answer if you mm -hmm. were to type, you know, to use it as an equation. So, okay, you know what the the little this little thing means the the little greater than yeah. symbol. You know, so it if it's pointing the mouth is pointing towards something, it means something is great. You know, this is. Some, you know, smaller, okay. Okay. right? I think this is all right. I, I don't think Fez is going to track. This He's not. One. I'm uh, sorry. I think people. it's A. Is it A? It's B. <laughs> Let's see. What? Well, we'll have to wait until the end. But it's it's twenty eight. Right. It's twenty six times. I hate plus to, I hate to tell you guys. To be, but I has, hate to tell you guys this, but nobody's going to be impressed that you guys know GED math. Yeah, words. obviously. But but this is actually something that you could really use in the real world. Yeah, I know. It could be very useful. All right, Dominic. Oh, oh God. Uh, dude, Dominic, he sells $4,000 worth of merchandise, Fez. And I don't think the merchandise he's selling is strictly legal. In <laughs> no. fact, oh, I, yeah, think, no. I think it might be human merchandise. The name Dominic makes me think of the Dominican Republic mm -hmm. and Dominican Republic citizens. They're, they're human traffickers. A lot of human traffickers. And it's also one of the top destinations for child sex tourism. So I think he's definitely selling underage prostitutes. So I think that's what's happening. You got to take that into account again when you're looking at a problem. And again, the math is going to be the same. But you need to intellectually keep Dominic at arm's length. Correct. Right. And when Lest you he corrupt you. Also, when Dominic, a guy that named Dominic, is 100% screwing over the company that he works with. So if, if he's making 8% commission, you got to add a couple of commission points for, for the boys. You know what I mean? Right. He's, he's taking a few of those commissions. For my family, back yeah. home in the for Dominican Rapport. I, uh, I send my commission to the Dominican uh, to, you know, to pay for the frijoles and the, the, the rice that my family eat. 
And like people at me, like, Dominic, you are crazy, man. But you were shipping 10 year old boy, you get fucked by a gay business, man. But I say, <laughs> I had the, the boy is Cuban. And I don't, you know, the Dominican, we don't like the Cuban, man. So who gives a shit, man? We, it's a Cuban, like, it's it's a like, Cuban boy who gives a shit. He like, he like God, he hate Cuba. He hate, man. He hate the Cuba and he hate, no, the Cuban boy, he hate the Dominican and so fuck him. So figure this out, Fez. I'm yeah. not going to say anything else. You can tell me what to put in the calculator. So $285 per week. That's seven days. That's time seven. Fuck yeah, dude. That's a good start. You know how many that days nice. in a week? That is nice, dude. Did you flex that at the job fair? No, I did not. <laughs> Damn, so it is the math on the GED that's really fucking you, dude. Yeah, it is the math. Okay. Huh. I mean, these problems are way too, like, I mean, regular algebra wasn't really doing good in that. Aren't class. you a card guy, though? Like, yeah, he's good at Yu-Gi-Oh! math. I like, mean, he'll memorize all the numbers in his head. You yeah, could probably do it, dude. This is a it's language thing. I think this is a language barrier, bro. Adding and subtracting, that's it. That's it. That's but don't only. you have to calculate, like, yeah. how many damage Pikachu's Thunderbolt does yes, to the Pidgeotto? Yes, yes, You could do that, but you can't figure out how much Dominic the sex trafficker is earning? <laughs> no, I cannot. You, well, this just pretend he's a Pokemon. Pretend Dominic the sex trafficker is a water-type Pokemon. Hey, he swims like over that. from the Dominican Republic. <laughs> or rather, he comes over on a small dinghy. With children in burlap sex. He's a water Pokemon. Come Think on. of it like that. That's how we're going to do this. This is just his card effect. This is his card effect, dude. It's So the number at the beginning, they're just... Fuck, I don't know why I'm trying to teach you math, dude. It's really just 8% of 4,213 No, So we're doing the Pokemon thing. Yeah, but let's we're do doing a Pokemon, Pokemon thing. All right. So $285 per week. That's how many mana he gets, right, Austin? Yeah. That's how much mana Dominic the sex trafficker gets. There it is. Okay. And then his 8% commission is like how many mana he taps per turn. Yep. All right? Right, Austin? Yeah, he gets 8% of the total mana that is that he expends. And then yeah. Dominic s sells $4,000 worth of merchandise. That means he goes to a local card store on Thursday night, mm -hmm. and he completely bends over a pimply seventh grader. <laughs> Literally and figuratively, in Dominic's case, because he's a fucking pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic's a pedophile. He's a pedophile. Do you understand that, Fess? Yes. Okay, good. So how much damage will his... Well, it's not a Squirtle. It's a girl named Sabrina, who we, mm -hmm. he stole out of a New Mexican backyard. Uh, how much damage will she do in the week? 359.84. It's B. He's going He's going B. He's going B. Once again, you just out of nowhere decide what it is. But, I mean, I don't know how you do it without a calculator. Yeah, let's do that. Let's figure this out. If it's B, I don't, I, this I, is legendary. Yeah. 0 0.08. This is as legendary as Articuno. 337 plus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're incorrect. Damn it, dude. It's actually D. But that's okay. Damn it. Damn it. You almost solved the mystery of Dominic, the water type sex <laughs> trafficker. You did. You almost did. I was trying to do the problem in my head, but it was just very complicated because I couldn't understand the division part of the, the number. Cause yeah, you, 8% of 4,213. Hey, Fez. It's just over your head. Did Papa Mullen make it easier for you, though? <laughs> Mullins, yeah, you were doing it also. That wasn't a sentence. You said you were doing awesome. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Austin's learned to translate Fez speak. Yeah, I'm not yeah, quite yeah, there yeah, yet. Yeah. Should, I mean, look, I, I mean, we could always break it down to the way a black man would explain it to you because they simplify things the best, in my opinion. Black people. Uh, yeah. this, this better be a <laughs> respectful example you give. Of course, Leo. Danny. Of course. So it's like, yeah, yo, 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 listen, fat <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> you getting 285 a week. You understand? And then any any shit you sell, motherfucking fat ass motherfucker. Sorry, man. I keep calling you a fat <laughs> motherfucker, but I, I don't mean it. Uh, I'm just saying, man. Anything you sell that, you get 8%, motherfucker, of that shit. Plus the 285, you know what I'm saying? Mm. 
Eight so percent. That's how strong a motherfucking King Cobra is, bitch. That's good <laughs> ass. That's a good ass commission rate, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That gets you drunk and gets you rich. Hey, commission checks, motherfucker. Around here, eight <laughs> percent. You can have a baby mama or a fucking side biz going, motherfucker. Anyway, so whatever you sell, you get eight percent, motherfucker. So this week you sold four thousand two hundred and thirteen, motherfucker. So all you got to figure out is. What that what 8% of 4213 dollars is, and then you add that to your weekly rate, motherfucker. And then you got that fucking money to go to a strip club. You got money to go to Roscoe's, whatever the fuck you want, motherfucker. The secret is, Fez, whenever you need to do math, just do it in Leo's black voice. Correct. And it'll be easier right. for you. All right, let's move on. Let's talk about something else. Yeah, dude. Where he has no chance of passing the GED math section unless I take it for you. We should do a video where I take the test for him. I believe <laughs> that's I probably could go to jail for that. But if we were in Tennessee, I might go to jail for that. But not yeah. here, I guess. Yeah, here it's fine. Right. Here, just like he would have to just be very be even more of a minority. I actually did not know right you, you can Thank go to jail if you take it at somebody else's test. I don't think easy. you can. I th- Here I think we will. If, if, if you guys both just turned up your Hispanic notch to 11, yeah. and you were both like, please, we have no money. We, I just yeah. try to make it. He He's not smart enough because the white man in the patriarchy. Mm-hmm. If you just say some shit like that, they'll completely dismiss the case yeah. in California. I know, Also, <laughs> I know so many people that cheated on their GED, so you should have been. Yeah, I don't I don't think you probably had the wherewithal to cheat even. You're you probably were just like that was above your your I don't know. You didn't think that maybe you could cheat. Sit next to someone. Yeah. I actually never thought that you could use like mad mad other level continuously like in the real world. I only basically just run with basic stuff. You thought it was just a useless exercise on paper. Basically. That's mm-hmm. what I always thought. I'll uh, be honest. But like so I you, always use subtraction, division. So you thought like bridges and skyscrapers get built using social studies no no not nothing like, like that. if you no. know about george washington's presidency you can build a bridge is that what you thought okay no engineering calculations necessary <laughs> huh? no calculations necessary no, no, for maybe i'm wrong and so if you can conjugate verbs, my statement back you can send a rocket to the moon mm-hmm. <laughs> it's important oh. It's important to know these kind of basic these, math yes. things because then yeah. you don't have people take advantage of you and give you a job cleaning public bathrooms for ten dollars <laughs> an hour. That's right that that true. That definitely is true. Fez, it's okay, man. We're gonna try to figure out a way for you to like learn some of this stuff. Yeah, too, but. I, I think something we can move on to right now because clearly math is not his strong point. It's I not. say we move on to current events, and yeah. I say you give us a Fezzy monologue. <laughs> oh my god! On Israel versus Palestine, dude. Oh, I, uh, so the worst now where I run? What? Excuse me? I, I, uh, I thought it was Iran. Somebody told me it was Iran. This is not going to go well. I ran, I ran oh, funds. Wait, 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 Austin. Somebody told you that, that Iran was one of the principal combatants in this conflict? Was it hey, Dino? Was, uh, no, it was not Dino. <laughs> Outside source. Okay, continue. Continue. They fund him, Austin. Whatever. I, I get it, Austin, but mm. we're trying to take this at a very simple level right now. Tell us what you heard from this person. Well, well, all I know is the war between Israel and Palestine, correct? Okay, there we go. That was good. So, I'm glad you know that. I know a lot of people die in the conflict, especially from both sides because they've been bombarding each other. But like, I actually. Oh, you're one of those equivocators, are you? <laughs> hmm. Maybe. Watch out. I don't know that main reason why. Maybe because of the terrain, because that one country is bigger than the other. Is that why? So you think the biggest landmass in a geopolitical conflict, that side typically prevails? Yeah. So if, like, if Antarctica went to war with us, Antarctica would prevail? I don't think so. That their mentality power is minimal. Well, we're bigger than Antarctica. Yeah. Are we? The United States is bigger than Antarctica? Antarctica is like not that big, I don't think. Pull it up. It just looks big on maps. There's a Antarctica. lot of people. There's a lot of people trying to flex intellectually right now. With, you know, I, Iran actually funds Hamas, or uh, Leo trying to actually sincerely do math. Hmm. But if I fuck up right here, I can't talk any shit. So five, it's five point two seven five million miles squared, and so. America is north. Of- oh wow, Antarctica's bigger. Bam! Suck it. Suck it, Austin. And that means... Damn, that okay, you're right. If Antarctica... Let's, so let's think about this, Fez. Do you think we would be doomed if Antarctica invaded? No. Why don't you think we'd be doomed? 
Because our military power is the greatest. But dude, have them. you seen They're their penguins? Bigger. They march in perfect order. They got like orcas too. They got like a bunch of like ma- <laughs> mammals that we don't really know how to like. Yeah, you know, they're gonna ride them like they were horses. <laughs> dude, yeah. Have you seen blackfish, dude? This isn't a joking matter. Those things will fuck you up. Blackfish. blackfish. This fish dismembered a woman. He ripped her head off. She was a trainer, and she looked at him sideways one time, and he took her out. You don't think orcas <laughs> could you, do that? Are you laughing? Are you laughing? <laughs> you think at orcas, the demise of this trainer? I don't you think, think orcas could take out a couple oh, navy orca, ships. Yeah, an orcas could take out a navy yes, ship. Yes, yes, they can. What do you think we were talking about? A, a fish from it, uh, the inner city? Yes. <laughs> Yo, what up, man? This fish fool is bullshit and shit, dog. I'm a blackfish, motherfucker. Man, <laughs> man, this fucking fishbowl cramping my style. <laughs> a stepper need to play. A, a stepa is my new substitution for it's, the N-word. It's I can nice, say. yeah. You can say stepper. I can say stepper. say stepper. So yeah. listen, Fez. Israel and Palestine. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Uh, so, I mean, that's pretty much what I know. I don't know much about what's going on with the conflict between the two countries. Can you actually How do you feel him? about... You need to make a choice right now, because Leo, mm-hmm. we're going to make him... Endorse aside on Instagram. <laughs> yes. Right First, now. we got to, I mean, I'm going to mention a couple of things that, you know, uh, Hamas did. And then you, you know, you can let me know what you think about that. You like that, Austin? Do you like that if we give him the facts right now and he has to make an informed decision right. and then publicly share it on the podcast? Yeah. I don't think there's anything that could possibly go wrong. All right. I don't think so either. <laughs> so the, the robotic velociraptors that the, that Hamas, um, you know, kind of let jump over the wall. Have you heard about these, Fez? Yeah. I think that's bullshit, but go on. What do you mean that's bullshit? What do you mean? They were AI velociraptors that that were purchased by Iran, I believe, and given to Hamas as a gift, and they set them loose. What do you think a drone is, dude? A drone is a robot sent to do fighting that it's too dangerous for humans. Right. And velociraptors are the most aerodynamic and fierce so wait, of all about, animals, and so we mimicked them with machinery. So right. Hold on, hold on. Hamas did. I'm Hamas. not a member of Hamas. About drones? Yeah. Not yeah. Actual velociraptors? I don't know. Velociraptors. You said mechanical. They're mechanical uh, velociraptor drones. Like drones. I, I mean, I believe that. a drone company makes them. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude. What do you think about that? Boeing makes them, dude. Oh, well, yeah, fine. Boeing does. Yeah, Damn, Boeing. We, we keep, yeah, I know. We keep outing United States' involvement in the attack. But it, it was Boeing that made the velociraptors. Is, is it okay we talk about this subject here? It's really touchy, but I would say not only is is it okay, it is our moral duty to talk about okay. it and post about it. We have right. to talk about it. All right, no so. problem. So the Velociraptors, they hit Palestine, or they hit Israel. Mm-hmm. They they blew up the border fence in multiple locations. There were actually robotic pterodactyls that flew in from the sky. And they landed as well. This thing was very well coordinated. Yeah. So now the model is called pterodactyl instead of... Yeah, I mean, it's a drone. But then when they got there, they started going door to door to bakeries. They were targeting bakeries. Yeah. They would... First, they would just decimate the croissants. That was the first thing that they would do. And, and the croissants are a huge kind of like... They stimulate the economy over there. So it was kind of the like Jews a, love them, dude. Yeah, it was like an economic kind of uh, attack. It was it was really something. It would be like taking our oil. I don't know. It would be like taking the, uh, the Tesla from the United States. Okay. It would be, all it the would taking be. all the Tesla factory. The richest man there, yeah, in Israel, yeah, is a baker. Yeah, he is, and he's he's perfected the you know the technique or whatever you want to call it. I guess it's like it's like a formula to make the crunchiest yet most perfectly fluffy croissant you know in in all the land and it's 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 something that just it, it it's one of those things that just stimulates the economy over there and it really helps people yeah. and they uh, they were chomping away at the croissants yeah it's it's important i just want to say right now though that mm. i just now noticed about an hour into the podcast that dino wasn't here yeah speaking of underemployment you know your job is insignificant when it takes an hour <laughs> <laughs> for somebody to notice you're not here. <laughs> but the thing is, though, I know I'm still going to get a sheepish Venmo request from Dino. Because you love me. Just hoping. Yeah. Like, just, he's just going to be hoping that I don't really read it or I didn't remember yeah. that he was not he's here. Not here. And I just approve it. <laughs> Guarantee that's going to happen. that Dino, when he is absent from his job, will still send us Venmo requests. It's, it's, it's insane. It happens. It yeah. absolutely happens. So, Fez, who do you think? I, I think... Because Ben Shapiro has been making a big stink about this. 
I think if some mechanical velociraptors want to raid a bakery, it's between Israel and Palestine, mm-hmm. dude. Uh, yeah, but the the Israelis aren't all at fault because then afterwards they sent in the the laser owls. Fuck, dude! Why did you have to? Don't that's bring gonna up scare the kid. Laser owls, dude. Laser owls are just I don't know. They, NATO and like the, the what is the what is it that uh, the, what is that the Warsaw group? Pact? Dude. There's the, group. the Warsaw Pact, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but there's a group. What is there? They're against the war crimes. The owls are not really. They're against the Geneva Convention. Yes, dude. that's what it is. They're against the Geneva Convention. And the Jews. Everybody knows the Jews control the, the space owl lasers. Yeah, they control them. So the like, it was it was so fucked up, dude. Yeah, like dude. I mean, it, you might as well unleash mustard gas in a kindergarten when you're pulling out the fucking mechanical owls. Dude. It's. The lasers are kind of just like, it, it's strange because the lasers don't do much. They kind of just like, they kind of eviscerate hair. That's what they do. So they were going around balding people all over the place. And air dropping gay porn into Muslim territory. <laughs> they were doing that. <laughs> I mean, that is a violation of Sharia law, dude. Yeah, which dude. there is no more serious violation. So what you're going to have to do right now, mm-hmm. because the Jews control these owls, Fez, yeah. is... You're going to have to pull out your phone and you're going to have to compose a post yes. that I describe right now. Correct. Okay. Uh, on Instagram. It's going to be this. It's going to be giving it a lot of thought and there is only one righteous conclusion a man can draw. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to post a Palestinian flag. <laughs> oh, I think shit. that it would be a good idea for you to post a Palestinian flag. Although, you know, me and Danny are going to stay with right me. Either. I think it's a problem between both countries to handle what they got going are you, on. I think you're being a moral coward right now. I think yes, I am. Posting a Palestinian flag right now would be just a great move <laughs> for your career. <laughs> Black career. <laughs> and the fucked up thing is, so Fez, obviously we're joking. We're people, joking. But the, the fucked up thing is, it probably is a good career move to like fucking post a Palestinian flag right now. Right, well, well, BLM I, is, yeah. I, it, it's almost, it's, it's finally we've reached a position where you can be so far left that you're kicked out of the mainstream. Yeah. Like the squad, Ilhan Omar and, and Ocasio Cortez are finally getting fucking heat from the yeah. Democrats yeah. for being like American hating fucking yeah. Marxists. But finally, you, you, you still might get a position at BLM yeah. siphoning hundreds of thousands of dollars away from guilty white people it's if you post a Palestinian flag. Just not any Jewish media companies. Nah, You're probably going to get blacklisted. Yeah. But you look, I, I think it's funny, but really posting the Palestinian flag for you would be just a just a doorway opens for you in BLM. And that's that's where you could get down and dirty with some embezzlement. And you yeah. could you could score one of those homes that the B, the BLM folks have yeah. in the hills. You Fez could have an infinity pool and all the dudes or women that yeah. you want. We're <laughs> not we're still not certain about you, but that's okay. You know your your timing's not great. You sort of caught the pendulum swinging back to the right. That's yeah. what's going on right now culturally. But it's yeah. gonna come back, Fez. The pendulum's gonna come back. And it's going to come back even further. Mm-hmm. Like, pretty soon, white people will be enslaved yep. to anybody who has any sort of pigmentation. And pretty soon, if you don't make your kid trans, stormtroopers are going to come to your house and shoot you oh, in the face. Oh, no. What are you saying, dude? You need to advocate for the far left cause, and you need to be where the puck is going to be. Yes. You need to be where the puck is going to be in, like, five more years. Correct. You know what I mean? Like, well, you know when uh, a man puts money into the stock market and mm-hmm. then comes back to it five, ten years later and he's rich? This could be you with a Palestinian flag on your Instagram. You're buying the fucking dip, Fez. You're buying the dip. You're buy- You're putting a giant sum of money into the market in 1930 right now. Mm. That's what you're doing by posting the, the Palestinian flag. Yeah. So... We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. We no. don't. Uh, Leo and I, we're moral cowards. Yeah. And also, yeah. I'm a we're, we have fear of success, well. dude. We have fear of success. So we can't. It's one of those things like I don't envision. My, I don't want to be that powerful. You know what I mean? You want to be on the right side of history, Fez. Fez. No, thanks. <laughs> Fez, if there's anything we've learned, there's really no harm in being too far left. Like, if you're just like, oh, what, so Hamas is cutting off a couple baby heads. So what? A couple of women got raped. Colonization. 
Just keep saying colonization if anybody comes at you. I mean, this is what just BLM's colonization, doing. dude. What BLM's doing. We're just, decolonizing, dude. You got to decolonize, bro. BLM is doing that right now. You know, wow. they're 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 on board with the decolonization. Yeah, decolonize. So just hit a little quick. Hit a Palestinian, dude. Hit a Palestinian flag right now. Like Danny's really trying to help you. If you post the flag, and then next time you go to a job fair, say you're non-binary, and we can land you a job. That's not cleaning hobo shit. Oh, we got oh you. Yes. <laughs> they, and then once you get the job, they will be so mortified of firing you, Fez, because a non-binary person who supports Palestine is going to sue them, yeah. is going to tweet about them. Yes. So you will basically be uh, fucking, you'll have that golden parachute, baby. Yeah. Or it won't even be a parachute. You'll be flying in the golden Learjet. That's right. Fez, I happen to know that the BLM Los Angeles chapter has a treasury position open right now. Treasury? And you're wow. great with numbers. You are. Yes, because it so happened that I was the next expert on them. Yeah. You fucking got like two out of three, right, from what I remember? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's fucking... That's a 66%. Or and right. with the soft bigotry of low expectations, you being a migrant, they'll be like, that's an A+. Plus. Yep. Dude, the leftism is awesome, Fez. It all works in your favor. That's why you need to embrace it, dude. You need to stand with Ilhan Omar. You need to post the Palestinian flag. Yeah, and, and in fact, it would really help. I think you should probably, you should probably get a flight over there. <laughs> yeah, because you I want to die over there. So there. Delta goes nonstop, dude. Delta yeah, goes nonstop to Gaza. Yeah, yeah you can go to Gaza. Together. No, the thing is, no, think about it. You put the Palestinian flag on your Instagram, and then you got a couple of selfies with like a couple, of, you know, nice members of Hamas over there. <laughs> Listen, dude, if you're in the basement with an AK and a bunch of bound and gagged Israeli children, man, that's like getting the Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor recipients in the American military, any finance job they want, any law position, they got it for life. They're made men. Mm. If you. Get a nonstop Comfort Plus flight from LAX on Delta yeah. to the Gaza Strip, and you just right fucking now. join up with Hamas, dude. They'll love you, man. It'll be such a great thing for you and your career. I mean, you know, you're looking. I mean, you could probably grow out a beard and stuff, kind of fit in more. Uh, thing is, you know, uh, there might be a little, you know, I don't know what he did. I guess some what, air raids, air raids, whatever. You know, what What Leo was asking is. I know your ears are sensitive. That might be an issue. Yeah. I'm going to suggest you go like this. But also, what Leo and I really want to get at right mm -hmm. now is to be woke at this point in time, mm -hmm. you need to be able to kill a baby. Yes. Holy shit, bro. Do you did not yes say that. Listen, dude. If you want to be part of the progressive left... That is the dominant cultural force in America. Right now, they're taking some heat, but they're going to be back once the pendulum comes back. You need to support the killing of babies because colonization. Think about it. BLM, I believe, posted something with the actual paragliders that came into the festival in, in Israel in the picture and the flag or the little graphic. They made. Can we so pull it up, about, Yeah, let's pull this up. BLM Los Angeles. The thing is, I'm funny about this, though. It's like... A terrorist organization named Hamas went into Israel and just killed like a thousand people. And there are people like BLM Los Angeles that don't think that's that big a deal. You know why, Fez? Because they don't care about Colonization. Anybody. Their Instagram, I think. Call low. You think it's still up? It's still up, bro. Yeah, there's no way they can scrub that. BL Hamas yeah. uh, paraglider photo. Yeah. Or hang glider, or just th glider. Instagram glider photo. Yeah. So, Fez... And you know who I'm really calling on right now is it'd probably be easier to find just on Google. We'll see. We'll see. Mm. There it is. We There's the to, post right there. might have to swipe. Yeah, I, swipe over. Can you? Which not, one is it? It's the, it's the Black Lives Matter grassroots state of solidarity with Palestinian people. Oh, my, okay. Oh my. Yeah, isn't this nuts, oh bro? Oh, my God. Swipe over one. Swipe Austin. over. Keep swiping. Keep going. Keep going. Where's the paraglider? Yeah, it's must, it must be on another one of their posts. Because we're going to need something from the fan base. Yeah. Um, I, oh, you, there it is. What is happening, dude, dude? It's insane, bro. Like when when a terrorist organization that was Indigenous <laughs> Peoples Day, but yeah, no, that but can you please though. find Austin? Just type it into Google again. Yeah. Just BLM Palestinian paraglider paraglider. Yeah, it, pal yeah, the paraglider. It should it should come up. Yeah, there it is. It should it should come up? 
images. Just hit images. It's just hit a images. deleted post showing Paraglide. Yeah. There we are. That's what they posted, dude. That's what they posted. So, uh, well, we're going to have you. God. Damn. On, audience members. Can you believe that, Austin? It's wait, insane. Wait, 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 sorry. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 sorry. Colonization, dude. <laughs> so what we're going to have the audience do, because this is really Fez fights. Again, Leo and I, we, we're cool with our lives. We don't want to be too famous. <laughs> we're going to have the audience Photoshop Fez there onto is. the hang glider. Oh, no. And he's going to be parachuting into the music festival. Yes. On the border of the Gaza Strip. And you're going to promote that, Fez. We might even make it into merch mm -hmm. for you to promote. I don't want to have anything mm -hmm. to do with it. Mm -hmm. But that is going to make you... A rock star of the Democratic Party. Yeah. You are going to be the John Bon Jovi, the <laughs> slash of the progressive movement in America. Dude, you could fuck AOC if you post that. Do you like, like her? Immediately. I mean, she's hot, dude. She's a hottie. Boom body. So we need people to Photoshop that and tag Leo and I in it immediately. Yeah, so we can see where, what Fez is up to and, you know, follow along in his career and his career success and all that, you know? So... In conclusion, Fez, Black Lives Matter is the best, mm -hmm. and this organization has Helped. always had pure moral vision. Yeah, it's never they, been about enriching themselves. Yeah. It's never been about um, anger and rage no. and senseless violence. It's never been about those things. No. You know what we're saying, Fez? Or mansions mm -hmm. or any of that. Like that, they just they were hardworking people and they got those mansions, you yeah. know, because they, they worked hard their whole lives. So so, Fez, we're going to need you to post that. You yeah. Know? We're going to need you to post it. Let us know when you do. We're trying to help you, Fez. Yes. Fez, I just need you to say right now, Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar? There we go. He said it. Yeah, it's just a boba place in Sherman Oaks. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. You should, uh, you should get it printed on a t-shirt wearing around places. Yeah, yeah. It's a good boba place. It's one of the best. You like boba, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's a great boba place. <laughs> well, wow. That was, uh, so you stay with Palestine. That's what you're saying, Fez. Yeah, so you're. Uh, maybe, I don't know. You should go to, you maybe. should follow his advice and go to the Gaza Strip. You do, if yeah. you become a war hero, they'll reward you with getting you laid. Southwest, Guaranteed. Southwest has flights going. You have to stop off in Cincinnati, but right. Southwest does have a flight there. There's a, there's a little bit of an annoying layover in Cincinnati, but you'll be. It's not a bad airport, Gaza. dude. Yeah, it's not. And it's just there's going to be a lot of other cool people who are going out to Gaza. Mm -hmm. they, they got a PGA <laughs> tour. They got a good steakhouse, PGA tour steakhouse in that. Airport. Hotels are really cheap right now. Yeah, in that's Gaza. True. Yeah, in Gaza. I mean, oh yeah, they're cheap. They're, they're liable to be there in the afternoon and gone in the morning. Right. But that reflects in the savings. Right. You got to. You got to. You know, whatever your checkout time is. Yeah. No. Maybe. Maybe get out of there a little earlier. You know what I mean? But you're fine. You'd be fine. Yeah. <laughs> check out time I would suggest you check out by like fucking 11.50 p.m. if possible yeah which yeah it'll interfere with the quality of your sleep but the Israelis they tend to conduct airstrikes in the early morning wow. yeah yeah don't book your whole week because you probably won't get your money back for the four days the building's yeah. gone oh yeah <laughs> if there's uh, you know it's it's ironic because they're Palestinians but they're Jews about those refunds on the hotels <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, it's like, dude, the hotel isn't there anymore. They're like, sorry, sir, you didn't book the, you didn't click the, the hotel insurance box on your checkout. Yeah, they're not going to give you your money back, even if the hotel's not there anymore. If you so. use kayak.com, you get a shot, though. You ever thought about using kayak.com to book a room in Gaza? I never fly, so I don't know. Gaza, I think, you know, Hotels Tonight's always clutch, too. Oh, okay. You want to throw it in there, Gaza yeah, Strip. And it'll be good. And then when you're eating in Palestine, yeah, they're right now. I guess I, there's no water. There's no, there's no water. food. But there's lots there's of no things you can either. eat when you're there. Like you can eat an old blanket. Yes, an old if you're blanket. eating an old blanket. Yeah, they were knitted by people there, so it's not like the fibers are not toxic or anything. Yeah, they're, just, they're all natural. It's I all there's no fire retardant packages. Anyone. They come from alpacas. Like, because when you buy clothes, now you ever like wear a shirt without washing it and it itches. That's fire retardant. So if the Abercrombie and Fitch goes up in flames, the whole mall doesn't go down. But if you <laughs> eat an old blanket in Palestine, dude, it's going to be fucking organic. 100% pure alpaca. <laughs> it's gonna, you know, yeah. Alpaca are free range, dude. Grass yeah. fed. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, you got this, dude. All right. Hey, uh, Saltine, did you know that Fez supports Palestine now? No, I don't. I never said yeah, that. 
You said maybe, and you did say Aloha Akbar. You did. You make me say. <laughs> no, hey, a man's responsible for what comes out of his mouth. That's Aloha right. Butters. That's right. Best term around. Well, let's keep talking about yeah, your yeah. vacation, your tentative vacation right now. So you're going. Yeah. You're going one layover, Cincinnati to Gaza, Southwest. Right. Make sure you line up early. I mean, really, you don't want to board so at the secret. Bomb already? No, no, no. I mean, we're talking about the flight. Yeah. And then you're gonna you're gonna get your hotel through kayak or hotels tonight. You're mm -hmm. gonna eat an old blanket. Mm -hmm. What about recreational options? Um, there's a lot of uh, of going through like like ruins. You know, there's ruins. Yeah. Just like you know, when you go to Greece and you go look at the Parthenon, it's amazing. It's dude. awesome to see ruin like a. Uh, uh, Maybe it's it's relics of a civilization one that once stood. You know, what a I mean? few it's days a ago. Fun. Yeah, even if it's a few days ago, it's the I mean, most new yeah. ruins around. Exactly, you know? it, it, they're the best ruins that you could possibly go to right now. Thank you, Austin. It's <laughs> Greece. That's the cradle of Western civilization, dude. When you're at Acropolis and you see all that, the ruins of Palestine. That is the birthplace of. Um, killing gay people and circumcising women. Yes. And with uh, they circumcise women, I believe it is with uh, it's it's the can the tuna cans, you know the they just like cut open yeah. the tuna can and they use that that sharp tuna can lid. Are you laughing at female circumcision, dude? That's not funny, dude. No, they don't want to give them any pleasure. I they know you guys they remove their vaginas. No, they remove. Sorry, they remove their clits. What are, you, what are you talking about? We're fucking with you, dude. You think women deserve to be out there on the streets all willy nilly having orgasms? Woo! Look at me. I'm a crazy girl. I enjoy sex. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Are you fucking with me? Listen, are you fucking with me? They got to be wearing Maybe. a sheet, <laughs> a sheet, and it's got to be white. And if there's no blood on it to be hung, oh, you know, you got to hang it outside of your house the next day to prove to everyone that in your wedding night, a woman was a virgin. You hang the sheet. You hang it. You let that blood fucking... Now you see that, motherfucker? Yeah, I absolutely. popped a cherry. Popped a cherry, dude. I popped a nut. <laughs> she didn't pop anything because she can't feel it. Mm -hmm. But listen, here's how we... We need to break everything down according to, like, card games for him. Yeah. I need... I like women who are dressed as shadow mages. I like a woman who's dressed like a fucking shadow mage. I don't want to be able to see so much as a single fucking eyelash, dude. Yeah. I don't want her to be able to read. I don't want her driving an automobile. That's for damn sure. Yeah, dude. I've made the mistake of letting the eyes be seen before and motherfucker made eye contact with my bitch, dude. And that's mm. just as good as fucking her. Dude, it's it's worse than You're fucking right. her. That's I'm like her enough. sucking his dick or something. So if you go visit the ruins of Gaza, yeah. that's the kind of cultural richness you're going to absorb through your skin. I don't know what the beach looks like in Gaza. Why don't we look that up? Gaza Beach. It's probably it's nice. Yeah, let's look at uh, any sort of water destination in Gaza. They do have, uh, yeah, they do have waterfront property, right? Okay, okay, it could, it could, it could use some work. Let's see. Uh, there we go. That's dude. that's probably mm. Israel or is that Palestine? Gaza, Gaza beaches, beaches now. Okay, that is. Uh, yeah. People are living on the. I feel. I feel. I feel like that's a safe spot. Probably one of the safer places. Maybe Listen, like right dude. by the beach. Listen, dude. This is where you need to. That's where you need to go, Fez. Pick up some honeys, Fez. Fez, mm. you on the beach in Palestine is, um, I mean, people might mistake you for a hippopotamus. Yeah, because most people don't oh, people have enough. People mistake you for a crackhead anymore. Oh, my God. Are you trying what? to outflank me? No, he did it again. When we're doing our Palestine bit? <laughs> Listen, Fez, the only right, reason though. he said the hippopotamus comment, it's not, trying, it's not trying to say you're fat. He's just saying that people are kind of starving in Gaza, and nobody has the means to get fat. You know what I mean? So, you know, you would be considered a, a very... Well... There's a lot of well activity you get into. Like, you meet up with the local kids and play Dodge Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, according... I saw some of the... Uh, there was also... That was where a you, good joke. Yeah, you could also <laughs> spit... You could spit on the deceased bodies of, of certain people. Oh, I saw right, that a lot. Right. Yeah, you could join in. You know what I mean? Austin, that is the best joke I've heard you make in a year. Thanks. <laughs> that was a good joke. Dodge bomb. Dodge dude. bomb, dude. It's a simple joke. I like that. This comedy is so mysterious, dude. It's the most mysterious. You never know when something's just going to be fucking hilarious. You never know. That was great. Well, Fez, um, all right. We're going to... Uh, oh, hey, click that one on the right. I see some cleavage there. Yeah, I'll see that. Those back in the day, Those dude. women are all going to hell because, you know... They're Jewish. Oh, that, that makes more... Well, then it's debatable. Same... Oh, yeah. 
But, uh, I mean, yeah, they're showing a lot of skin for Palestinians. So, Fez, we want to say right now that, um, I don't know, this is up to you. We're not going to make a political decision for you. Yeah. But what are you thinking? After just all we've said, I want you just to look into the camera earnestly and tell the people what they should feel about the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. Well, all I know is the conflict between two countries should be handled by themselves. Oh, you're an isolationist? Holy fuck, dude. That is pretty base, dude. You've been listening to some Tucker Carlson this weekend? He's been listening <laughs> to Tucker. I think he's been hanging around me too much. We, uh, <laughs> dude, what a, dude, why don't, I don't like that you're just reciting other people's opinions. I thought Leo and I might have influenced you there. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I, it's crazy what's going on, but on a serious note, what the hell is going on in the world? Because, I mean... If you want me to really tell you, it's the biblical prophecies from the old, from the New Testament all coming true, and the apocalypse is probably just like maybe around three years corner. around the corner. Everybody, there's so many guys. I don't. Uh, Fez is like aping Austin's language. Do you well, brainwash you this guy before we get here every day? Listen, yes, man, the Jews are trying to rebuild the temple. They're trying to sacrifice the red heifer. They're trying to like complete all of these biblical prophecies from the Old Testament, and then after they rebuild the temple. The Muslims are going to come and stomp them out. It's going to be the age of Gentiles. And then this one guy is going to claim himself to be God. And then everyone in the world is going to worship him because he's going to start doing magic tricks. But it's actually the Antichrist. Is that in Revelation? Yeah. And okay. it's in like Mark and stuff too. It's throughout the New Testament. All right. I haven't, uh, I haven't made it to Revelation yet. I don't know what's going on there. but um, It's almost impossible to understand. You kind of just have to like watch a video on it or like go to church about it because it's all like allegory i I, really I was talking to i was talking to a kid on the you know the, the the baseball team that i play on sometimes and he is a big like he's like a psychedelics and you know drug kind of guy and he was telling me that i i gotta get right with god pretty soon here because it's gonna be like you know have you seen a what was that movie with uh fucking jonah hill left behind no oh, no jonah hill super You're, bad no, it's uh, it's where they at the end of the world movie. It's like the Perry end left behind. The, the end, end, right? The end, yeah, I think it's the end or whatever. But uh, that's basically what it is. It's like if you do something selfless, then God will. Uh, but if you're a piece of shit, dude, I might be stuck down here with you still making videos when the apocalypse. Is well, going. I'm going to be going up in the beam, dude. You're, you're not. Gonna, you can hang down here with Fez, you Mr. You're Mr. Going Mr. Palestine up, over here. You're going up in the beam, hell dude. You really think you're going to make it to heaven? I'd rather go to hell than go to heaven with you. Oh, <laughs> that was the coldest thing he's ever said to me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Danny would be great to you in heaven, Fez. No, you guys okay. wouldn't have sexual energy anymore, and that'd be perfect for no, you. There's no sex in there anymore. There's no sex. We yeah, don't you don't have bodies. It's a soul. But I don't I know. Maybe know. if you get married, that's like your reward is that you get to still have sex in heaven. That'd be kind of right. dope. Dude. You know, that's true. You need to get married, Danny Mullins, for sure. Okay. Why haven't you gotten to jump on that, Fez? I don't feel like it. You don't feel like getting married? It's choice, Leo. It's choice. He's non-binary now, guys. It's true. <laughs> you should be non-binary. I gotta take another wee-wee, dude. Take another wee-wee, dude. Water's been fucking ripping through. Oh, fucking Nico, dude. Yeah, you want to talk about the trip a little bit? Dude? Yeah, I mean, Nico was just being a piece of shit. He is a deplorable human being. <laughs> I don't even know where he I'm is. going with this. Yeah, no, but he is. <laughs> he did. The one thing that Nico did that was deplorable this trip is he didn't shower for so this is the, i'm going to give you the nico timeline yeah with leo's help here mm -hmm. nico we a very weird filming schedule because this week there was a chance i was going to have to fly to tennessee on thursday for a court date and at the end of the court date they might have been like, okay, you're officially on probation in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. We need to transfer that probation to California, and that's going to take 45 to 60 days. Surprise! You can't leave Tennessee. Yeah. That is seeming like it might be a big issue. I'm not sure how we can work it out. Try dealing with government agencies across the country and getting them to coordinate with each other. It's nigh impossible. Yeah. It, it's like getting an autist and a fucking Down syndrome to communicate by smoke signal. Yep. It, it's fucking <laughs> hard. Yes. It's fucking hard. It is. That's what's going on right now. <laughs> Tennessee's an autistic kid and California has Down syndrome <laughs> and they have blankets and a small campfire. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what it is. That's what's fucking happening right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 
I'm stuck in the middle of it. And so the best solution that we had was just to push the court date back. So we could do our shows. We've got uh, Vegas yeah, by this the weekend. Way, yeah, Vegas. October 21st. October 21st. And then Seattle, October 29th. Bam. So check them out. I'll, I could send you the links and you put them down below, Austin. Yep. We yeah, got yeah. shows. So that's why we filmed on a Monday and Tuesday. Very unusual for us. But Nico shows up on Sunday to fly out reeking of booze. Mm-hmm. Reeking of fucking booze. And I, Leo, you catch me sniffing him. Yeah, he. Uh, we're at Danny's apartment, and uh, you know, I I had already smelled it because I had said hi to Nico. But then Danny is picking up something, and he's kind of nearby Nico, and he just sniffs kind of like his, you know, like the the back of his his back a little bit. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Nico tells us he had. He's like, so what? I had a couple IPAs. <laughs> <laughs> we found out it was five T boys, dude. Five tall boys. T- uh, five bagger night uh-huh. for, for Nico. And whenever Nico gives you a figure referring to the alcohol he drank, Fez, it's time to pull out that old multiplication symbol. Yep. You multiply it by two. I'd say two. Ten tall boys. Probably what he had. Ten tall boys. Absolutely. It's like a woman's body count. That's a Nico woman's body count. Beer. It's Nico drinking beer. It, it's yeah. you multi you divide a man's body count that he gives you. So Fez gave us a one. He told us he had sex with one girl. You gotta divide that. In his case by fucking zero. <laughs> <laughs> by zero. Can you divide by zero? Yeah, or you gotta it. multiply. It, I think by dividing zero. by zero, yeah, do you get into imaginary numbers, I believe? Something which can, that uh, works for Fez too, does, because yeah. he's had sex with an imaginary numbers of yeah, women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you got to multiply a chick's body count by three and you got to multiply a dude's by three. Yep. So, or you got to fucking whatever. I'm losing track here. But the point is Nico's a deathbed alcoholic. And yeah. so we, we get to Montana the first day and we say, as we're tucking ourselves in for the night, hey, Neeks, want to take a shower, buddy? Because that was his excuse of why he smelled like alcohol. I didn't have time to take a shower. Right. And like the meeting time, what was our call time on Sunday, Leo? It was fucking like five. It was 3 p.m. Like two, it was like 2.30 p.m. 2.30 p.m. And yeah, Meeks like, comes at me kind of aggressive. Like, I didn't have time to take a shower. And the implication what? was that the schedule was so demanding that there wasn't time to get beneath running water for five minutes. He had left Orange County at like 1.30. He, he acts like... I'm the CEO of Goldman Sachs, and he's a partner. Yes. And I've got him working 90 hours a week. Dude, yes. He's always acting like He's that. acting like he's sleeping under his desk. Yes. There's a similar amount of sexual assault at play, though. What was that? There's a similar amount of sexual assault at play, though. Oh, sure. Between Goldman Sachs organization and my organization, mm-hmm. amongst the male-male coworkers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, if you work for me and you're a man, you're going to get sexually assaulted. That's how it is. <laughs> Uh, Fez, you better hope we never cut you a paycheck. So I'm gonna have to grab your nuts instead of signing it. <laughs> uh, oh, great! You like that kind of oh, horseplay. Wow. So Nico, he just said he's gonna smack my ass first. He's given up on the microphone now that he's a Palestinian supporter. <laughs> Dude, he, he knows his days are numbered before a <laughs> fucking rocket comes over from Palestine and takes him out. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, so Nico goes one day, two days, three days, three days dude. without taking a fucking shower. It, it is just can we pull up Leo's Instagram and to circle back to the young step post that yep. Javon Kinlaw weighed in on because he's a p- supporter of the regime. Huge supporter. Yeah. The defensive tackle for the 49ers who's having himself a season, baby. Leo F. L.E.O. F. Even the guy, even the guy who who Javon got into it with on the call and the guy who got called an LDN, even that guy's giving it up to Javon saying he's collapsing the fucking pocket left and right, dude. So Javon Kinlaw is a star and look at Nico Villacruces. Not only is he not showering and having five bagger Sundays with fucking tall boys. Yeah. He, um, he's not shaving anymore. It seems. Yeah. Let's flip, uh, go to the next picture on the, uh, yeah, check this out. Look at this. Wow. This is Nico Villacres. Hey, story. let's let's uh let's let's zoom in on uh, Rick Jane's comment here. No, yes, yeah, yes. Sorry, that, not dude. sorry. Leo oh, and I might have ourselves an admirer. Yeah, Rick Jane seventy five looks. <laughs> it looks like uh, maybe an Instagram that'll hit Fez up to try to Wait. get a little cash from him. But so um, so, so no, as in no to Nico and, and, and yes, yes and yes, yes to maybe. Papa Mullen and Papa Leo. We're get, right. getting some approval. So let's click on Rick Jane and yeah. see if this is a legitimate woman. Okay. Yes, it looks like she could. 
be a legitimate woman. So we have a black woman with an enormous chest who wants a piece of the Leo <laughs> oh, Meister shit, and the Dan dude. Man. And all I can Fuck say yeah, is... Dude. Let's duh. go, dude. Fucking duh, dude. Let's go. Yeah, obviously. This, this is how it goes down. I'm going to call Nico, right? <laughs> yeah, and tell him, dude. I'm and tell, tell him. him yeah, tell him, tell him what's up. I'm going to tell him about this because... Yeah, uh, he needs to know. Leo and I are a couple of fucking real steppas. Yeah, we're some steppas, dude. We're trying to, you know, we're trying to pump him up, maybe make him change his lifestyle choices a little bit. You know what I mean? This is how you do it. Leo... Uh, we oh, not only do we appeal to black NFL stars, yeah. we appeal to black women That's right. with all star caliber chests. Yes, dude, look at that. And we're gonna get Neeks on the horn right now and let him know what this lady said. Because uh, Austin, do you mind flipping through those pictures? I'm just curious. <laughs> oh, what up, mommy? Hey. Oh sh. Hey. Oh. You, you happen to live in shit. Las Vegas or Seattle? Oh shit. Don't me. Damn, baby. Please leave your message. Piece of shit. Let's leave him a little message. I'd love to. Yeah, leave him a message. Hey, Neeks. What's up, buddy? So listen, <laughs> uh, I don't know how you feel about fucking H-cup black titties, dude. But in the picture that Leo posted over the, the early part of this week, you know, where uh, you were standing by the pool and I was standing by the pool... And Leo was standing by the pool. Well, a drop dead mature chocolate mama yep. named Rick Jane 75 mm -hmm. commented beneath that picture of the three of us, no, yes, yes. And I believe there might have been some emojis. Can we go yes. back and confirm, Austin? There was the dead the, the, the skull emoji followed by two hearts. Which do you which emoji do you think you are, Nico? <laughs> Nico. I think she's implying she wants you dead, <laughs> first of all, which, which seems a little severe for just a common rejection. Yeah. But also, she said, sorry, not sorry, meaning she wants a piece of yep. the Deemster yep. in the Leoopolis. That's right. And she wants to leave you as a corpse <laughs> at the bottom of that fucking pool, dude. So Leo and I are going to be in the hot tub each suckling on a massive watermelon-sized yeah. breast yeah. while you're six feet of water under. That's right. Okay, Nico? So get it together. Shave your fucking face. Yeah, dude. Quit making facial expressions <laughs> like the Tootsie Roll <laughs> Owl yes. from those old cartoons. Yes. And fucking get yourself some pussy for once, buddy. Be a young stepper for uh, once. Be a stepper. Be a stepper. I mean, hell, dude. Even Fez is claiming to be a stepper. Yeah, he's a stepper. He's a Palestinian stepper. He's, but... he's taking a hard pro-Palestinian stance, which we disavow as yes. Leo and Danny show hosts. We do disavow. But it's going to get him a prominent place in the Democratic Socialist Party of America. Yes. So, Nico, fucking bottom line is we get pussy. You don't. That's right. Hang up. Click. That's right. That is right. Well, I think that's a perfect place to end this pod. All right. All right. You like it? Cool. Yeah. yeah sure. Telling Nico to fuck off. Yeah. And remember that we get pussy and he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking fine. Um, Fez, you know, your views on Palestine and stuff, I don't know how I feel about them. I'm a little shocked, to be honest. And um, look, I, I, wish you, uh, yeah, nice. I wish you a lot of luck uh, going over to Gaza. You know, whenever you're, you're making I never said what's going to go. Whenever you go, you know, just uh, let us know. We want to say bye to you and stuff, just in case. Yeah, but. there's just know that there is an international travel fee on Southwest flights of about 143 extra bucks. So yeah, you might, it's going to take a couple more shifts in the park. You're an on that matter. You're going to have to, what, flying internationally? Yeah. Thank yeah. you for calling me a baller. Yeah. But you are you might have to suck a couple extra hobo dicks at the park and able yeah. to, to be able to afford that. Yeah. And you only need to buy a one-way because there's no chance you're coming back. <laughs> yeah, there's no one chance. One-way's fine. Yeah. You need to be like the guys on 9-11 who fucking flew out toward the Pentagon, okay? Like, that's got to be your attitude hopping on the Southwest flight. That's you're right. not going to hijack it, nope. but you are a soldier of God who's going to perish in the name of Jihad. That's All right. right? That's like what you're doing going to Gaza. So good luck. Also, check out the Patreon if you haven't. And uh, come to our show in Vegas, October 21st. I think we, uh, we tickets are going fast. So Every ticket sale and every Patreon subscription goes directly to funding Iron Dome anti-missile defense systems across, across Israel. This is what you want. So that's what you want. And uh, also a couple of Patriot missiles that may or may not get lobbed over into, into the big G, that's as right. I've taken to calling it. That's right. So uh, thank you, guys. And go to Seattle. Go to the Seattle show on October 29th. In costume. It's a costume show. Yeah. All right. We love you guys.
Peace.